In this episode of Crystal Uncorked, I am sharing something very exciting, something that I had to make a decision on. And uh, I went through a whole process on making this decision. Kind of my similar process I go through for some of the bigger decisions I have to make as a business owner. And I'm going to be sharing what that is in this episode of Crystal Uncorked. But before I do, a word from our sponsor, me. Hey, are you a retail store owner who wants to increase your foot traffic, website traffic, sales, profitability, brand awareness? Any of those? If you said yes to any or all, then I would love to see you at my in-person marketing conference called Evolve happening April 26th and 27th, 2023 at the Gaylord Rockies in Denver, Colorado. Join other retailers like you who really want to grow their business and have a plan for growing so it's more simple to see those results. You'll hear from keynote speakers, amazing breakout speakers, myself and my team. I would love to see you in the room. And just because you're a Crystal and Cork listener, you can save $400 off of your ticket by using the code uncorked at crystalmediaco.com slash evolve. That's crystalmediaco.com slash evolved using the code uncorked, all lowercase. I hope to see you there so we can evolve your marketing, business, and life together. Are you ready to open up and talk about all things business? I'm Crystal Vilkaitis, a curious entrepreneur who loves talking about business, especially over a glass of wine. I started Crystal Uncork to share open and honest conversations about my journey and talk to other entrepreneurs about their experiences. We pull back the curtain and talk about the highs and the lows. Wine isn't required, but is recommended. This is Crystal Uncorked. Now, I'm not drinking wine in this episode. I have some coffee and water with me, but I want to share a fun wine thing that's going on in my life right now. So I'm planning a conference called Evolve. You might have heard about it on the show. Maybe you just listened to a commercial about it. Uh, and Evolve is a marketing conference. And as I got to tell you, I'm going to do a whole episode about planning an in-person event because it's so much work. Uh, but it's also pretty exciting. And I love that I'm creating an experience that I see in my head. Like I can't wait for this to come to life. But the cool thing as it relates to wine is, I don't know, last year, Dustin and I were at our favorite wine bar here in Fort Collins. It's called Taste and Savor. And we were sitting there and I we were talking and I was just looking across the the restaurant's pretty small in there, but I looked at the bar top and I saw this bottle and the label looked like it said evolve. And I was like, hold on a second. So I get up, I look and sure enough, it's wine that's called evolve. And not only is the wine called evolve, the wine is from Colorado. It is actually made here. The grapes are grown here in the Palisades. It's made here and TWP Winery makes it or Vineyard. And um, and I've talked about this on the show before. So if you are a regular listener, you've heard me talk about Evolve. Uh, but here's what's really cool. We are in the works of getting Evolve, the wine, at my conference, Evolve. Like it's happening. Like I've been talking to the people at Evolve and I've been talking to the Gaylord and the Gaylord's got to set them up as a vendor so they can sell it there and they're going to give me a ridiculous markup on the wine. I'm like totally spending a couple thousand dollars more than I need to just for wine, just so it's on brand. And that might sound insane, but it comes back to this vision for this event that I have and it we work with mom and pop retailers, like local retailers. And if I can support a local business and and have local wine, which you don't often get local wine from Colorado. I also went to a wine tasting event with Evolve. They've got really good wines. So if you're coming to Evolve and you're skeptical of these Colorado wines, I can't wait for you to try it. They're delicious. And we're in the works of doing that. So cheers with my Crystal Media coffee mug. Cheers to our Evolve wine at Evolve. I'm super stoked. Okay, let's get into my big uh, a big decision that I made recently that is also very exciting. So I was, I'm a part of a mastermind and they do these calls with experts 
and as well as the coaches and um, our, our like the leaders of the mastermind. And a few weeks ago, I asked a question. The speaker, the expert, was a man who's produced tons of TV shows. One that you might have heard of is Chopped. I personally love Chopped. Oh my gosh. I'm always like, what are they going to do? Like, that's the show where they've got the basket full of things and then they've got to put together these amazing meals with what's based on what's in the basket. I can never think of anything creative. I really try to get in there and think of something creative every time I watch a show. I never can. That is not my specialty. But these people are incredible. So he is one of the people that um, produced Chopped chopped as well as like 60 other shows. And what a cool opportunity for me to talk to somebody who produces shows, because if you don't know this about me, I would like to have my own TV show. I've always wanted to host a show. And at the end of the day, you could consider this Crystal and Corked my own show, right? So in a way, mom, I made it. But honestly, like I do have this vision. I just, I really have these desires to create experiences for people. And so Evolve is one of those things. And my own TV show would be one of those things as well. And so I asked him about Crystal and Corked. And I also kind of wanted to like plug my name, right? So I was like, I want to have a, I want to ask a question. And I was picked, thankfully, and I name dropped. And I could tell he really liked my name. He really liked the concept of the show. And he kept asking some questions and was really resonating with success in wine and talking to entrepreneurs about success over wine. And so uh, his whole thing was like, really the whole presentation that he gave that day, if you're interested at all, if you want to have a show, is what's important is being consistent and having like different segments or a segment, something that is almost has its own brand, like the same thing you say or same piece of the show and you do every show and people start looking for that, right? Like you start training your audience that this is what we're doing here and this is what we're talking about now up for this segment. It makes me think of Ellen where she would have different segments um, you know, in the whole structure of the show, like she would have her monologue, then they would go into some sort of funny, timely thing with what the meme was a segment she would do, or they would play games, then they go into the guest interview, then you've got your musical guest. And so really just structuring shows in that way and just being consistent um, and being authentic. And so I was thinking about with this whole success conversation, you know, and how he really hung on to that of how could I add in more of these like success stories? I do talk to entrepreneurs, but we talk about the highs and lows of being an entrepreneur. I talk about my experiences. And if you've been with me on this journey of Crystal and Cork, you know that I've been really trying to figure out where am I going with the show and what am I doing with the show? And it started off as personal and business stories. Then, you know, my kind of season two, uh, I talked just about business and I do love being in this business space and, and, but I kind of miss like the personal side of it too. And obviously it's my show. So I can fucking do whatever I want, but I, for a hot second there thought about changing the name. And I asked some people about it and like taking me out of it and making it a little bit more general. And um, that was not the right decision. I definitely want to keep Crystal and Corked and I love doing this show and I see a lot of things for the future that I like just can't wait to have some more time to give to it. But what ended up happening is as I was having this thought about sort of changing the name and I was thinking about who my listeners are and I was thinking about consistent segments and what makes a show successful. And I just started asking a lot of questions and started doing a lot of research. And this is where kind of my process to make decisions comes into play. You know, it's, it's typically where I'm getting curious and I'm asking questions and I start to research. And through my research with different shows and different podcasts, I was just really seeing a lot more activity, like a lot more engagement, a lot more people writing reviews and engaging on social media for shows that were very niche. And 
a friend of mine suggested that I be niche with Crystal Uncorked, and I just never have been. I know that I kind of will call out to small business owners or retailers because that's who we work with at Crystal Media, but I just haven't really wanted to niche. I've wanted this show to just sort of be... um I don't know, just a little bit more catch all for other people. And so, but as I'm doing my research, I'm like, if I did niche though, I feel like I could grow the show a little bit faster. I feel like I could help more people quicker because when you are, when you have a business or you have a show and you know your niche, it's a lot easier to market to those people because you know who they are and you know where to find them. It's kind of marketing one-on-one. It's what I teach. Know your PCGs, your perfect customer groups. And so um, as I started thinking about our retailers, I was feeling like, okay, does Crystal and Corked serve retailers? And it just doesn't. It can, but it can also serve other types of businesses. And that's just what my heart wants to do. That's what I'm pulled to do, right? But from a Crystal Media perspective for my business, I really feel like we're missing an opportunity to serve retailers on a bigger and deeper level. And so as I started doing my research and seeing what kind of, kinds of shows are out there for retailers, what kinds of content we could show up, because obviously, you know, I know a lot about marketing and social media, but we've been in retail for a long time. Like I got started in retail in 2010. It's kind of like, my roots are in retail. I have been at all the gift shows and home decor and pet stores and jeweler shows and just very connected in the retail world. And when you're that connected, you learn a few things about running a store. And so um, I also have so many friends, a lot that you have heard from on this show that are in the retail world. And then we have our amazing retailers and they have so much to share. And so I started getting really excited about the idea of creating a show just for independent retailers. And I am incredibly excited to announce that I am launching a new show. And that might sound insane because I'm going to try to do two shows, people. And um, I'm going to try my very best. But I am super excited to announce that Rooted in Retail is a new podcast and YouTube show made for retailers, uh, all aspects, not just social media or marketing, all aspects of running a store. And the show will be out um, March March 5th, Sunday, March 5th, we are launching. We'll have two episodes for you to just dive in. So if you are a retailer, if you are in the retail industry, I really, really, really hope that you will listen, support the show, write a review, and maybe be on the show. I'm looking for retailers to interview and people in the industry. But I want to take you through a little bit of the process of making this decision, kind of the behind the scenes, because it's an important decision I made. And um, I think that it's going to actually really support my business. And these are questions that I think all business owners should be asking themselves too. So what was happening at Crystal Media is for so many years, we've had a hard time with top of the funnel. In marketing, you'll often hear about the funnel. And you got the top, the middle, and the bottom of the funnel. And the bottom is where we end up selling. But we have to get people into the funnel so they know, like, and trust us. Then we move them into something that's paid, usually a lower price point or an event or something like that, a time commitment for them. Then we move into a sell, you know, become a client, buy, purchase, and then you can kind of keep selling to them. Well, when you're trying to get people at the top of the funnel, you need to do that through adding a lot of value. What's going to make people give you their email address or their cell phone number to stay connected with you? And that information is gold. Like people are not just handing out their email and cell phone numbers. Like they really have to get something in return for that. So you have to give them a shit ton of value. You've got to show up. So that means you got to really know your PCGs, your perfect customer groups, and how can you support them? What is their dream outcome? What obstacles are in their way to reaching that dream outcome? And the solutions, what are those solutions to those obstacles? Those solutions become your offers and can become your top of the funnel. So you can create a lead magnet. You might've heard of that before. 
A lead magnet might be a free webinar. It might be a free PDF, a ebook, a guide, a checklist, a video series. Some sort of educational is typically what that lead magnet is. From a retailer perspective, it's often an offer like a coupon, free shipping, a discount, free product. We always want to be thinking about top of the funnel. And I think that so often we just are kind of like working in the business and doing all the day-to-day tasks, but we forget about how am I staying in front of people and getting them in the funnel. Now, social media helps raise awareness and that is part of the top of the funnel, but you need to get people in the funnel so you get their information so you can continue to, so you could build a relationship with them and continue a conversation with them because social media algorithms aren't always showing our information. So we really need the information. So we need a lead magnet. And for me, when I'm thinking about this top of the funnel, it's been a challenge in all transparency for us at Crystal Media to really find new people on social media. My PCGs our retailers, they're very busy. They don't spend a lot of time just scrolling through the content. They're working in their stores. They're hustling. They're wearing 5 million hats. And so it's sort of hard for us to stand out from a social media perspective. And it's sort of funny because I have a social media company, but we still show up there, but it doesn't really get people on our list. We're not growing the top of the funnel. And so, um, I want I looked at, you know, what, so I, I did the research and I noticed niches. So if you niche down, if you're really specific with your audience, so that's where I was like, okay, I'm going to focus on retail only, not just entrepreneurs or small businesses, but independent retailers, main street retailers for this show. I'm going to get very niche. Then I asked what they need. And it was so much more than social media and marketing. We're definitely going to talk about those topics on my show. I'm going to bring on my team. They're going to talk about those topics too. But it's more than that. Like we could drive traffic into your store all day long, but if you don't have great customer service, if you're not upselling, if the store isn't merchandised properly, if you don't have the right inventory, the right price, there's so many things that go into operating a business, a retail store that people could come into your store, but it's still not going to be successful. They still might not buy something because something else is broken. And I want to have a bigger impact on retailers. I want to help make retailers an even better business owner. And so the way for me to do that is to help them in other areas. And I can bring on experts and have those conversations and be curious. I'm a very curious person. So I can ask those questions and really get some great information for our retailers. So I view this, you know, asking what they need. That's, I think that that's such a strong thing that they need. And I didn't see a lot being offered online through these podcasts. You know, there's stuff that's out there for sure, but I just saw such a great opportunity to fill part of that hole and have these conversations specifically for retailers. Then I was thinking about, you know, here we are with our top of the funnel. What do our our retailers need? And feeling like this is such a great place. Now, at this point, podcasts or YouTube channels are you're still not getting the email address or cell phone number. So you still have to get them to opt into something. But what happens is when somebody is listening to your content and they resonate with you and you're teaching them something and you're adding value and you're showing up consistently, they're going to start asking, all right, what does this person have to sell? All right, I need to go deeper. Whoa, that alone changed my life. How do I learn more? And this is something that I want you to be thinking about. How are you showing up in that way? How are you being consistent, adding value, really just being yourself and resonating with your audience to make them say, whoa, how can this person help me? What else do they have? They've already helped me so much. I will do whatever they tell me to do. You want to get people to that place and you do that by being a go-giver. One of my favorite books and I've talked about on this show. So give, give information, give your knowledge, your education, your information, your entertainment, you give yourself, put yourself out there so your audience can really connect with you and go deeper with you. And, and that's really content marketing, right? And so through that, if people are loving my show, then I can have my own sponsored ads like I do here in Crystal Uncorked. 
about a free guide that we have, a free webinar that's coming up, something that gives gives them the opportunity to give me their information. So then I could go deeper with them. And that's then the top of the funnel, right? So I've got the awareness, I've got the good stuff, the free education, boom, now give me your email, your your cell phone number, so I can continue to talk to you and invite you to these amazing things that we have coming up. And I just felt the, the next thing that you have to really look at if you're looking at your top of the funnel is what are you good at? What are your strengths and what do you enjoy? So for me, I can write, I'm a pretty decent writer, but I love video, you know, like, and I don't, I don't want to do a show of just audio. Like when I have guests on, I want to see them. I just feed off of that. I would love to do more in person. I loved doing that at the Las Vegas market center. Um, so I, I love video. I have a good video setup. And I love talking. I'd much rather talk than do anything written. I feel a lot more pressure when it's written, even though I like it and even though I'm good at it, there's the pressure. So I'm trying to remove that pressure and say, what do I enjoy? What's going to feel the ease, the flow? And, um, and so, and then what am I good at? And I think that I am good at having conversations with people, interviewing people and, and sharing through a video, um, channel like this. And so, or audio, if you are listening to the podcast. So that's why I chose to do another show. There were so many different ways that I could have added value to our retailers. I could have gone live once a week. I could go live every day. I could have done webinar series. I could have had my team do webinar series, but I just really wanted to show up personally And I really wanted to connect and I wanted to do it in a way that felt easy. And so a podcast show, like a video show like this was totally the way for me to go. And so, um, and so those were my steps. I'm, I'm hoping what I'm trying to do is just kind of share behind the scenes of what I went through and in my process to then maybe give you some ideas on if there's a way that you're trying to fill the top of the funnel, how can you figure that out? And please, if you want to brainstorm with me, like if you have questions on how to get more people on your list and how what should you do for your top of funnel, DM me on Instagram. I'm Crystal Vilkaitis. And don't DM the Crystal Uncorked. Do Crystal Vilkaitis. And, um, and tell me what your business is. And I will send some ideas for you. I would love to help you with that top of the funnel. And, um, because it's so incredibly important to your business. Like I can't stress this enough. I'm really fortunate where my business is today without having a strong top of the funnel all these years, it's really been speaking and our partners. That's how we've really filled the funnel. And that's not scalable. That's a lot of work. Like you're traveling to a lot of places and getting on those airplanes and, and doing all your slides. And, um, it's a lot. And so, you know, thankfully that has worked for us, but I'm very excited to launch something new. And I will, because on Crystal and Corked, I'm very open and honest here. I will share how it's going. I'll share behind the scenes of what I'm learning. And, um, and I just hope that again, if you're in the retail industry, you will join me over at Rooted in Retail, uh, which is launching March 5th. Please, 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 please listen in if you are a retailer. And the best thing you can do for a new show, any show really, is to leave a review. But especially if it's new, that really helps catapult the show for success if it has a lot of reviews within the first couple of weeks of it launching. So totally like a shameless ask here is to review the podcast, to listen to the first episode or two that will be launched on March 5th and share a review. That would mean the world to me so much. Um, We won't have a separate Instagram or anything for that. You could just follow along at Crystal Media Co. My business account will be promoting there. And um, and then again, I'm just really excited to share this experience and launch another show. And and this is the final thing I'm going to say about it, just so you kind of know, like from my mindset perspective, because at first I was going to pause Crystal and Corked and then just go forward with this show. But there's really just something inside of me that says, don't do that. I have been getting some really great momentum with this show. Like, thank you so much for listening. Every single week I have my most downloads. The next week it it's more. Next week it's more. And I'm feeling the momentum. And I just don't want to slow that down by taking another pause. I also really love doing this show. And the thought of kind of separating out the retail stuff 
I have some new fresh ideas for Crystal and Corked that might be a little more personal and might be a little more fun, but they'll always relate back to business as well. And so I feel very inspired. But where I'm at with this is I'm going to do the best that I can. And if I can leave that with you today, that would be my biggest takeaway is that we just have to do the best that we can do. I'm going to do the best I can do with two shows and my in-person conference. Those are my big priorities right now. They're all very meaningful to me. They're all very important. I have priorities of what's most important and um, and really structured with my time. And, and I'm just going to do the best that I can. And I just know that if I do have to take a pause, then I have to take a pause. That's what we have to do, right? Sometimes things have to give. But it doesn't mean that anything is is going away just because I love doing this show. I plan on keep producing every week. And um, and I can't wait for some of the new fresh content that I'm thinking about as well. And then I'm in store for future uh, future episodes. But um, but yeah, I'm going to do the best I can to do these two shows. And thank you so much for being a part of it here. And I look forward to having some of you over on Rooted in Retail. And let me know what you think of the name because I freaking love it. Like Instagram me, share, take a screenshot of this podcast that you're listening. Tell me what you think of the name. I'm super stoked. And thank you for being here. I will see you on the next See You. Bye. Hey, real quick. If you are a retail store owner, I would love to see you at Evolve. This is my in-person marketing conference happening April 26th and 27th, 2023 in Denver, Colorado at the Gaylord Rockies, which is a stunning venue. You get to spend two days with me and my team and keynote speakers, as well as other retailers looking to evolve their marketing, business, and lives. It's an intimate event. We only have 200 tickets available and we've already sold a lot of those seats already. So this event will sell out. Do not delay because we have special pricing depending on when you hear this and when you sign up. And uh, I would love to see you in that room. So go to crystalmediaco.com slash evolve. That's crystalmediaco.com slash evolve to get your ticket. And I would love to see you there. And thank you for listening to this episode. Bye.